Hello everyone! If you are new here, in this series of going solo videos, I am using the final mission of the Dragon's Gambit campaign as a test bench for different mechs and weapon loadouts. This is because this mission presents a good opportunity to explore different tactics, as well as the possibility of fighting both close and long range combat. Finally, I am going into this battle alone, without taking any of my landsmates with me, so that we could better assess how each mech performs and survives in the same kind of scenario. Alright, as far as this series go, I've done a bunch of videos and I've tested in this final mission of the Dragon's Gambit campaign nearly every single assault mech chassis available to date <clears throat> except one except one and also besides that i've also you know tested uh, several different variants sometimes of each uh, chassis and the only one which we haven't tested in this setting so far is the zeus chassis Let's take a look at it. There are many different variants of the Zeus as far as Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries game is concerned. I mean, not many, several, I should say. There is also one hero variant. Uh, I have pretty much all the variants in my other career. But not this one, because this one, uh, you know, I've imported the mechs from the career which I've stopped playing in the year of uh, 3049, which is 10 years uh, from now, and I haven't acquired all the uh, Zeus models yet. But anyways, uh, this is what I've gotten here. I have these three different variants. Uh, let's take a look at how they are configured. So this is, you know, the 80 ton assault mech, okay? There are several 80 ton assault mech. One of them is my all-time favorite, the Awesome. Then there are uh, there is also another good variant, which is uh, the Hatamoto Chi, which I've shown also on this uh, channel. Then... Uh, there is um, a sort of like uh, anywhere from the okay to me mediocre kind of mech, the Victor. Then uh, there is also a Charger, which depending on a variant can be total garbage, uh, can be either a total garbage or a decent mech, you know, depending, really depending on the variant th that you get. And then lastly, there is also this uh, Zeus. Let's take a look at the variants which I've got in here. <clears throat> so um, I've got this uh, ZEU-60 variant. Originally it comes with um, large laser, one PPC, two medium lasers and single heat sinks and the LRM-15. And it's got only one ton of um, LRM-15 ammo, which is not uh, a lot for the mission, not a lot at all. And uh, it also ca uh, can uh, run somewhat hard with the single hit sinks. And uh, here is of, uh, what I've done <coughs> to change it. So instead of one large laser, I actually, you know, uh, I utilize these two large mis uh, energy slots for both PPCs, for two PPCs. Uh, provided, uh, provided you have double hit sinks, you know, if you can upgrade uh, all those hit single hit sinks with double hit sinks. If you can't do that, let's say if you're early in campaign, then I would probably go with two large lasers instead, you know, if you're forced to use single hit sinks. Then I've significantly increased the amount of armor. I only shaved off, you know, um, six points of the legs, but everything else is maxed out in the torso, as I usually do. The arms and torso and everything is allocated more towards the front, obviously. Then, of course, I've upgraded all the weapons to 
I mean, besides changing some of them to the tier level 5. Uh, and then, uh, in order to be able to feed the tonnage, obviously I had to make some compromises. I had to downgrade this LRM-10, uh, I mean LRM-15 to LRM-10. And uh, I can al also, you know, take only one um, ton of ammunition. Now, prior to this, prior to this, and by the way, this uh, this variant is not the first time, you know, I'm showing it on this ch channel. I've done one of the Dragon's Gambit missions using this variant as well, and there I believe I had two tons of LRM ammo, and uh, one less double hit sinks. However, I've discovered, as far as I can remember, I've discovered that it runs kinda hot. So I had to get rid of one LRM, uh, one ton of LRM ammo and install uh, one double hit sink in instead because clearly it was running kind of hard. But I do like having two PPCs in here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other loadout, which is this uh, ZEU-6S variant. This thing, well, it's basically just like the other variant I've shown you before. <clears throat> the only difference is that instead of this large energy, it, uh, it's got this uh, medium ballistic slot, which I utilize for this um, AC5 burst fire. And because uh, it doesn't have the PPC in here and it doesn't run as hot as the other build, we, we can use less, uh, less heat sinks in here. I think this, you know, the, the two double heat sinks are enough because, you know, I have to... I have to use um, the ammunition for this uh, AC5 burst fire. I really like AC5 burst fire. This this is like one of my favorite auto cannons of all times. Uh, I've done many videos about this weapon where I've uh, included it into you know different assault mechs and it worked remarkably well. Anyway, so this is this 6S variant with this one ballistic weapon. And then finally there is a newer variant which, you know, appears kind of recently. In recent years, you know, this is the year of 3039, this Zeus 5T variant. This is what I've got in here, you know. It's, um, it's quite an advanced build because of all this extended range weaponry. So the original loadout, let me show you the original loadout. So originally it comes with this uh, seven double heat sinks. LRM-15 with the Artemis control. Okay, Artemis 4 control. Again, only one um, ton of ammo, which is not, you know, necessarily enough for this LRM-15. And then look at this, it's got this extended range um, energy weapons, one ER PPC and one ER large lasers. Well, here is what I've done to this. Again, instead of taking one of these, you know, ER large lasers, I've decided to go all the way through to the um, ER PPC, just, you know, to have two of these uh, extended range PPCs in here. Very hot weapons. You have to manage your heat carefully if you are using this, okay? Then I've got this um, six double heat sinks in here. And then um, I had to obviously, you know, to be able to max out the armor to the... Actually, you know, as you can see, I shaved off even more points in this variant. Uh, as, as you can see... I actually had to sh shave off quite a bit, like 12 points of armor of the leg legs in order to be able to take all of this, you know, um, uh, heat sinks um, and max out the armor in the torso and the, the, the head. And then um, I've downgraded the original, you know, uh, LRM-15 with Artemis control down to the LRM-10 with Artemis control. And then, you know, with this one ton, you can shoot this 44 times. So this is my build. Okay, now we've got to try out this Zeus. Ah, and the, as far as the upgrades uh, go, I haven't shown you the upgrades. You know, this one, 5T variant, has the this upgrades. 
two of my standard ones um, actually uh, for, for f uh, I'm using four upgrades to reinforce the armor and structure and then this is you know just to increase the firing rate and this the heat containment that's you know for this 5T then here for the 6S variant these are the upgrades not gonna talk much about it but it's somewhat similar and then lastly you know for this uh, 5T variant It's got actually quite a few upgrade slots, okay? So, um, yes, yeah, you can see, you know, that's that's a lot of slots right there. So, here I'm again maxing out the internal structure and ammo, increasing the firing rate for pretty much for all the weapon systems. And, you know, because this is somewhat a hard build, I, I have to help it with the hit capacity, okay? Alright, so, now, as far as this video and this mission is concerned, which one of this should we try? Which one of this should we try? Uh, I guess I will go with the dual PPCs uh, variant, you know, or ER PPCs, you know, this one. <coughs> I'm not sure if I will have enough of uh, ammunition for this AC5 burst fire. And then the LRM um, Yeah, let's let's maybe go with the other two variants. Let's put this one in the cold storage. Okay, so it's got to be probably one of these two. Uh, okay, so this uh, they are pretty similar, as you can see. The only difference is that you know this is the older variant. It's got regular PPCs and standard LRM ten versus you know this newer variant with this. Uh, ER PPCs and Taller MTM with with Artemis control. So which one should I try? Which one should I try in this mission? It doesn't make sense, you know, to test both both of them because they are somewhat similar. Um, you know, if you can make this work, you know, the cheaper, the simpler variant. If you can make this work, then we can probably make the work this one as well. Although, although you see. The only concern here is heat management. You know, do this two, two of these ER PPCs. I am not sure whether this um, the, this amount of double heat sinks is gonna be enough. We should we uh, we should we go with. You know what? Let's go with this one. Let's see how we can snipe things with um, these PPCs because you know. Here is the thing. We did try a mech. This is uh, the assault mech, a titan assault mech with two standard PPCs, with was, which was Hatamoto Chi. It did great. Let's see how the ER PPCs are uh, compared. Let's go. Let's go ahead and try this this badass variant. You know, with the two ER PPCs and you know other MTM with, with Artemis control. And say it's probably gonna do well. It's probably gonna do well. Let's uh, let's l l let's go ahead and take this mission and use this one. I'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna perform. Okay, let's go. Let's see. No lance mates again. my medium lasers, everything else is PPC and... Okay, I have an excellent long range capability here, you know, ER PPCs after all. Oops. What's nice about ER PPCs is that they also have a faster projectile speed than the standard PPC, not just increased range, but at the, at the expense of the excessive heat. Okay, 
kill he's done Okay, they finished him off, but I've damaged him a lot. I've damaged him a lot. Jagermia. Lots of trees in here. There he goes. Longbow. Oh, 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 I guess let's go after this longbow. It's awesome. I'm going for the headshot. No, no headshots for me. I should probably stop standing like, like a sitting duck. In one place. <laughs> Standing like a sitting duck. <laughs> Where is this? I, I am going after that longbow. That I, 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 I just saw. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that longbow? I wanna get get done with it. Okay, let's let's work on this grasshopper. I I'm not sure where he went. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, this guy takes a lot of beating. Where is he flying to? Oh man, I am in a horrible shape already. What is going on? I took a lot of beating. I took a lot of beating. Ah. Oh. It's got an ammo explosion. Finally, finally. Man, and did I take a lot of beating? That's depressing. Okay, there he, there he is. We don't want him to throw our ends. You know, I have to say it's a pretty good, you know, hit management, given the fact that we've got uh, so many, you know, two, two, two ER PPCs. Okay, now I have to be careful. I've got a lot of beating. What's what's going on in there? Okay, I have two two things approaching me from the rear. Hey, who are you shooting at? I. Uh, I'm friendly. Another Zeus. Another Zeus. Orion. These things are so annoying. Zeus. I don't like the state of more armor. We are like halfway through the mission and my armor is already in a pretty bad shape. It's the catapult. What I'm gonna do, I will try to take down his arms. First, let's let's aim for the arm. Okay, one arm is gone. Okay, let's aim for the second one. 
Nope. There goes his... Uh, no, not yet. Okay, let's use some LRM. I don't have lots of rounds of LRM 10, but... No. Okay, now I have to focus more on the long range combat. I've done way too much of a close range. Way too much. I should have chosen a different tactic because with, with, with this ER PPCs. But good hit management though. Great hit management though. Okay, now it's a great opportunity to snipe these guys, okay? The RPPC has an excellent range and projectiles speed. Let's use it to our advantage, okay? Yep, let's uh, work on this Banshee. Alright, alright, alright. Looks like, you know, he, he may be in a bad shape. I cannot get a luck on them. I, I can't get a luck on them. Though they are kind of still far, and you know, with this garbage mech warrior five sensor, you see, they they are fighting back. They also have some PPCs. All right. Oops! Uh, hitting the ground, hitting the ground. Okay. Uh, I really wanna do the long range fighting but now they are you know coming after me at a close range okay where are the other guys they are coming after me he's in a bad shape indeed i did damage him a lot when i was sniping him okay that works that works okay let's let's now work on this guy His center torso is in a bad shape. There he goes. Okay. Okay. That must have been a headshot. If, uh... Okay. What else is out there? There is some fighting going on. Who are they fighting? Target. Archer. Archer, yeah, of course, Archer. Uh, I forgot about him. Let's take care of him. Where is he? Did they destroy him? No. What a durable archer. Okay, another wave of enemies is coming. Uh, let's see if I can snipe him them from over here again uh, rppc has got an excellent range it's marauder okay okay yeah that's a very good firing position so far yeah and i'm hitting him i'm hitting him oh there we go there we go and again, you know, that's a surprising good hit management, uh, given the fact that we have only, like, what, six... Uh, did you see that? I can't even get a luck on him. Mm. You know, this mech surprised me in a very good uh, way. In a very good way. That, Assassin, I mean, I'm not worried about him. He goes down pretty quickly, you know, it's just... Mm -hmm. His head in a horrible shape. There he goes, that was a headshot, okay, okay. Alright. Vic. 
vicinity. You all refuse to die. So be it. Okay. This must be the final wave. Okay, I like this. I like this uh, firing position here. You know what? Maybe I should stay around here because again, ER PPCs. It's like one of the weapons with the longest range ever. Okay, yeah, that's that must be the main guy. Okay, let's let's work on him. However, however, uh, maybe I should work on the longbow first because that guy is pretty annoying. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's work on that longbow because everybody else, you know, I can I can deal with. Let's not let this longbow get close to us. Wow, I'm actually, you know, I I'm imp impressed with this build. I don't think I don't think I. I've tried this in combat. Yeah, now I can see that we are running a little bit hard, but you know, I've been shooting this uh, ER PPCs like non-stop, so maybe I should cool down a little bit. Looks like he may be getting an ammo explosion. Okay, he's in a bad shape. Let's, let's see if we can finish him off. No, no, not yet, not yet. Let's see. Okay, he seems to be damaged. Okay, now I have to... Now I need to cool down. Now I need to cool down. Okay, let me step back. Uh, to take a step back. <clears throat> let's uh, let's uh, find a different uh, firing location because they are coming after us. Let's let this uh, allied forces to fight them a little bit. I will continue sniping, though. Changing missiles. Do I have enough armor for that? I don't think so. I don't think so. My armor isn't, you know, in, in the greatest shape, but neither his now. Okay, he's done. No more alarms from this. And Victor, you know, that's, you know, no long range capability whatsoever. We can finish him off. New target, Victor. There he goes. Okay. Now I haven't finished that longbow. I'm more concerned with that longbow. Okay. He's gone. He's gone. I finished him off. Okay. Okay. Now we are after Assam. Uh, my arm isn't in the greatest shape. Okay. 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 Nice. Nice. Nice, nice. Wow, wow. You know what? I am really surprised. I am really surprised. This mech surprised me in a very good way. I am genuinely impressed because usually, you know, as far as Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries is concerned, you know, I... Uh, I thought of this mech as uh, as an okay mech, which, the mech which is, you know, just, you know, a little bit better than the Victor. But, you know, there is more to it. There is definitely more to it. Let's see the summary. It's, you know, quite a lot of uh, kills, lots of headshots, you know, in here. I don't know whether those were mine on, or somebody else's, but, you know, it's quite a few, quite a few. See the summary. 18 mech kills. You know what, guys? This, these are actually legitimate kills. Yeah. Good, uh, good damage. Uh, 18 mech kills. Yeah, I, th th this is what I've done, and uh, it looks like you know. I think uh, my mistake was like very early in the mission is that I, 
I've chosen a wrong tactics. I should have uh, done better at choosing a long range combat, okay? But the situation kinda, you know, forced me a lot of times in a, in a close range combat. But this mech excels at a long range, uh, the, 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 this build, this build in particular. I, I have to say I'm genuinely impressed with this mech. Again, you know, I always thought of the Zeus as an okay mech, but no, it's actually it's a pretty, pretty good mech if you configure it properly. Let's see the damages. Uh, the armor on one of my arms is gone. I, I don't think I've lost any components. No, no components were lost. Although, you know, I was very close to lose it. Especially, you know, given the fact that I have this, you know, explosive ammo in here. Uh, this leg is not, you know, armor on this leg is not in a very good shape. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, you see it's pretty beaten up. Uh, what are the repairs uh, costs? You know, you know, for 400, uh, 4 thousands in repairs. Yeah, uh, quite a bit of armor repair. And yeah, it did get into the structure of the right arm. So yeah, that's, that, that's gonna uh, require some repair as well. But you know, I guess it's thanks to my upgrades it's not as significant you know this is uh, this is probably you know perhaps the best uh, zeus variant i mean i'm not talking about the hero variant i do have a hero variant in my other career the sk it's like dash sk variant well it's a badass variant there is no question about it badass hero mech hero zeus one of the best actually hero mechs but you know my problem my only problem with hero mechs is that they are apocryphal uh, they are the mech warrior 5 inventions they don't they don't exist in the lore that's my my only problem is that you know it's just you know completely you know fictional mech, mech warrior 5 games but that uh, that hero mech yeah uh, the hero zeus is um, is great okay but out of all non-hero mechs i think this is probably my favorite zeus variant this double hit sinks and uh, extended range weaponry it's a it's a killer i really really like sniping things at a long range and er ppcs are great at it and the hit management the hit management you know it's pre is pretty decent too it's pretty decent too well you know i i have to say this uh this take come on uh, this uh, this mission, uh, this uh, take, has uh, kind of changed my opinion on the Zeus because I always like viewed Zeus as an okay kind of mech. Like I've said this several times, I viewed Zeus as just you know, kind of like a slightly improved Victor. That's uh, that's the way I viewed the Zeus. But no, it's actually it's uh, it's quite an improvement over Victor. The only problem with th this 5T variant is that it kind of appears later in the campaign. It's not available early in the campaign. Earlier uh, you, you can get only this, I think, 6T, the, the one that I've shown, and 6S, yeah. And then the problem is that you are not gonna get any d d double hit sinks. You will have to use single hit sinks, but for that matter... Um, I would uh, downgrade the uh, two the, the these two PPCs to uh, large lasers instead. Large lasers, you know, single hit things. This is what I would do. I w I wouldn't take PPCs, you know, if I if if I were forced to use single hit things, because the hit management could be an issue. Yes, as something like that, or you know, perhaps you know, taking this six six uh, uh, S variant. What is it? Yeah, the, with this you no know, burst fire. Yeah. 
maybe you know downgrading this to large lasers and just you know taking more single hit things that's that's what i would probably do earlier in the campaign uh, but uh, yeah th th this uh, this variant has really impressed me you know i could have done even better than uh, than that i could have done even better than that if i were a bit more careful you know and if i tried to stay at longer ranges though Th th that's what I should have done. But even then, even then, you know, 18 legitimate mech kills, that's a, that's a pretty great number. Especially, you know, for the 80, 80 tanner. Yeah, that's, uh, it's great. It's fantastic. Very, very, very good mech. I should probably use uh, more of this in the future. I used to, uh, I remember I used to like the Zeus in... Uh, mech warrior two mercenaries it was more configurable there than it is so in mech warrior 5 i did like it there now, now, now that i remember okay well so these are my thoughts on the zeus I, I think it did very well it did very well i like it a lot not sure whether i would call it my favorite or not but it's definitely great. It's definitely fantastic, and the the, the hit management was uh, was pretty good uh, with those ERP pieces. Anyways, so here is what's going on. I've done a bunch of videos with this, you know, going solo uh, series, and <laughs> at this point, I am getting kind of sick and tired of this mission. And at this point, you know, we've explored pretty much every um, uh, every assault mech chassis in this scenario. I didn't explore all the variants, and I don't have all the variants in this career. Let's actually do the, the descending tonnage. So, um, uh, no, 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 the tonnage, what is it? Yeah, the descending tonnage. I'm kind of tired at this point. So... Uh, We've done the Marauder 2s. We've done King Crabs, not all the variants. I haven't done the Hero variant, though. The Hero, I have two Hero variants. Pretty brutal mechs right there. But, you know, I survived doing stack configurations. Of course, you can do well with, with Hero variants. If you can do with, with standard variants, you can do with the hero variants as well so that's besides the point i'm not gonna to, to test it yes yeah, so we've done marauder tools we've done king crabs we've done pretty much you know all of the variants except for the melee variant of the atlas i've done all the annihilators in this video i've done this you know corky um, franken mech corsair i've done banshee 3s uh, I haven't done this Mahler's 1Rs because uh, technically they don't exist in the year of 39 yet because they were imported from the other career. But I did do the Mahler chassis, this uh, Otomo variant. We've done Ma Mahler chassis. We've done Highlanders, pretty much every variant. I've done the Cyclops, they didn't do this one, but I've done this one, my favorite variant, uh, 11P. I don't have hero variants, I have all uh, the heroes in my other career, but no, not in here, there is one hero with two Gauss rifles. I don't have one here, but out of standards, this is my favorite one. Uh, we've done Stalkers, I didn't do this 3H variants. The one with the two dual LRM-20 launchers, but I've done longbow instead because, you know, that's the, the, the missile platform. Maybe I should have tested, though, this, uh, this Stalker 3H. It's amazing, it's amazing. It's got, as you can see, two SRM-4s, four medium lasers and dual LRM-20 launchers, but... It's gonna do fine, you know, we, we, we've done well with uh, other Stalker variants. I didn't do the Hero Stalker 
It's a badass variant. It doesn't have any LRMs, but it has Gauss rifles. That's, that's, you know, speaking of hero variants, this is probably one of my favorite heroes in this game, this Stalker Age. But anyways, we've done this. Uh, we've done the... Which ones we've done in this setting? We've done the FB. One of my favorites. One and then standard uh, 3F variant. They... They performed gracefully. Stalkers are one of my favorite ones. Then, what else we've done? We've done the longbow, obviously. I was super impressed with the longbow. Amazing dedicated missile launcher platform. Fantastic thing. We've done battle meisters. I didn't do the mi missile based variant, which is like what the three S, one S, one S. I haven't done this one, okay? But I've done the three um, M is not available yet. In the year of thirty thirty nine, it will be like soon uh, soon after. We've done one uh, P variant. We've done. This is a melee variant, I didn't do this one. We've done 1G, one, one of the most common ones. I was uh, super impressed with Battle Meisters. Yeah, so we are kind of descending and tonnage. Obviously, we've done, <coughs> we've just done this um, uh, Zeus, one variant only, uh, because I still, I, I have this, you know, two other ones. This is just, you know, the, another 60. Yeah, I was impressed with uh, impressed with the 5T variant. You know, this this mission has really changed my view on the Zeus. I've got I, I've got more respect for this mech. I was, you know, kind of, um, you know, aside from Charger, Victor was my least favorite uh, assault mech, the H Tanner, and I was viewing Zeus in general as, you know, just an improvement over Zeus. I, I mean, over Victor, but. It's th there is more to it. There is definitely more to it. I really like uh, Zeus right now. Okay, yeah. So like I said, we've done the Victor. Even though this is like my least favorite, one of the least favorite assault mechs, kind of like my last choice. Still, it performed very well in this uh, this uh, mission. Even though I was sort of like critical of it, but it did fine. It did fine. Still, it's not gonna be my first choice. It's probably gonna be my last cho choice, but you know, due to the tactics which I've used in that video, it did well. Okay. Um, didn't do any other variants. Uh, this hero is okay. The, the BSK. Uh, then I did Hatamoto Chi. Uh, did very well in this mission. Uh, you, you see where I'm going. I'm just trying to make some kind of a resume of all of this, you know, assault mix that we've tested so far in this mission. Very good mech, although I'm not sure whether the 2070 variant is uh, available in this. We've got to say price this Otomo variant, which I will be eager to try uh, one of these days as a price for this final mission, but... Okay, I've tested this 2070. It was great. Great mech. I like Hatamoto Cheese, the 80 Tanner. I would uh, take it probably over Victor. I mean, not probably, I will take it over Victor. Then we've done this another 80 tons, this Charger, Otomo Charger, which was a piece of junk. I absolutely hated it. The horrible experience. It was very stressful and intense uh, mission. Uh, we've lost uh, arms in there, barely made it alive. Then uh, we've tested one awesome, the 8Q variant. I have quite a few variants. I love all of them. Awesome is one of my favorite chassis of all times. Amazing. It is, you know, awesome is a freaking awesome mech. Absolutely loved it. We did the HQ variant. Absolutely fantastic. Got like 21 mech kills with it. Uh, super amazing mech. And that's about it. This is it. We've, uh, at this point, we've tested pretty much every single assault mech chassis in this uh, f final Dragon's Gambit mission. Wow. Wow. That was a lot of videos and a lot of work. 
So what's next? What's next? Should I... Should I... Continue with this mission and start stepping into the heavy mech territories? Uh, you know what? This is probably what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm at this point, I'm sick and tired of this mission. Uh, you are probably as well, but you know, just for the science, just for the science, maybe I should, uh, I should t start testing some of these heavy mechs. I don't think I'm gonna uh, test every single heavy mech in this mission. Plus, I don't think I have every single uh, chassis of a heavy mech um, in this career, to be honest. I do have a bunch of heavy mechs, but I am not sure whether I have every single uh, available chassis. Uh, as I do with the assault mechs. Mm. Yeah, please let me know in the comments. Would you like me to to go uh, to go for the heavy mechs to go solo in a heavy mech? Mm, I, I guess this is what I should try. Yeah, let's go ahead. You know, <clears throat> I'm curious to see how Warhammers will perform if I will be able to to survive in the Warhammer or like Marauders. You know, this classic mechs, maybe even Black Knights. Why not? Why not? Yeah, let's uh, let's let's go for it. All right. Well, so this video completes my test of the assault mechs in this mission. In the next video, I should probably go for the heavy mechs. And yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna do. I will go for the heavy mechs. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And this is it. This concludes the assault mech portions of this series. And until the next video, until the next one where I will be testing uh, one of the heavy mechs. All right. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.